Hello, dear friends. You're welcome to another episode of Dear Charles. My name remains Charles Ajiboye, and today we continue a series on law as a business. We have a very interesting topic today, networking for law business owners. You know, many times when people start their law businesses, people tell them, for you to get briefs, you need to network. But the real thing is that many people that own law businesses do not even know how to network. They often mix it with socializing. When you sit and hang out with your friends, that is not networking, that's socializing. You're just having fun. You need to be intentional about going to the right places. You see, even though, you know, some people say, if you really want to build your network, don't hang out with lawyer friends, that may not be so true. You have in-house lawyers who can be very useful to you, even though they are also lawyers. You have sometimes that lawyers take briefs that they don't have um, skills to handle that they also give to their law colleagues. So it's not really true that if you hang out with lawyers, you may not necessarily be able to make business out of it. But you must be very, very intentional about it. You need to meet the people that you need. You need to build yourself and fortify yourself with what I call starter questions. What do you start a conversation with? when you meet people that can be very useful to you. You need to have some kind of beautiful looking business card and that card has to be able to speak about who you are. You don't have to be quick about shoving your cards into people's faces or people's hands, but you still need to have your card handy and to know that when you present your card, you want to be able to have another one exchanged for it. When you meet people, you need to also seek to build a relationship. Don't be too quick to ask for businesses, just try to be their friends, try to know what their problems are. Try to at least act like you are trying to solve their problem. Eventually, you know, I must be honest with you, when you build good relationships, they turn into good businesses. When you go for events, you need to have a goal. I'm going for this event and I intend to network. So there will be no point getting there and sitting on your phone. There will be no, no point getting there and feeling all sophisticated. You know, you want to just appear as appropriate as possible. If it's a beach event, you want to look like someone that is attending a beach event. If it's a dinner, you want to look like somebody attending a dinner. And you know, you have to determine how to introduce yourself. When you get to events and opportunities to network with people, you don't want to just go there and say, I'm a lawyer. I'm a legal practitioner. It's boring. It doesn't communicate anything. It tells the person nothing. That's the way you introduce yourself. If you're meeting someone rather than just saying, I'm a lawyer, I'm a legal practitioner, you could say, I provide solutions to problems in the banking industry. The person gets more interested. Sometimes you also know the person ahead, so you can even introduce yourself in a way that can connect with the person. You know, don't be too proud. Don't be too forward. And one more thing I must say before you go, once you pick on someone's card, ensure you remember to send a text message immediately after you leave that event or the next day. And in case you were not able to get a card or a contact detail of the person you met, find the person on social media and be quick to add the person because it will forget you. You know, till the next time you get to watch from me, remember to like this video, share it, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on social media at Charles Ajiboye. And don't forget that law can be a business.